All right, so now that the bug catching contest is over, let us move on. There's actually a uh, TM that I can get really quickly. You can get it from this guy right here. Did you clear that wretched tree? I'm impressed. I'm going to need to have this. So we got TM08. That happens to be Rock Smash. You can shatter rocks with just a single well-aimed well aimed smack. If any rocks are in your way, just smash them up. <laughs> and I happen to have the Pokemon that can use Rock Smash. Oh, I need to <laughs> put Scyther away. Forgot to do that. Well, since I'm close to Violet City, I'll head that way. I need to get uh, Sudowoodo out here. Because there's a couple of moves that we can get around the environment with Sudowoodo as well. And why am I trying to heal my Pokemon? <laughs> I need to discard Scyther. Or deposit Scyther, if you will. Let's see, Scyther. There he is. Now I'll bring in Sudowoodo. Alright. So now we got Sudowoodo. Uh, well, let me see if I do need to actually heal my Pokemon. Well, just Nidorino, so I'll go ahead and get him healed up. Because there's going to be a lot of times where I'm going to have my uh, Pokemon like Paris and Sudowoodo. They're going to be used to get around the environment. So there's going to be a couple times where I'm going to actually have to do that. So while we're at it, I'll go ahead and give uh, a couple of TMs to uh, Sudowoodo, like Rock Smash, for instance. Or actually, no, uh, since, as a matter of fact, since Paris can use Rock Smash, uh, yeah, I'll go, I'll go ahead and just give it to Paris. I forgot that Paris can do that. <laughs> it's pretty uh, weird that Paris can actually learn Rock Smash. <laughs> I mean, do you think that a Pokemon like Paris wouldn't be able to do that? And that's all the stuff I got. Alright. Let us head back to where we were. Because now we gotta go... Uh, further up this route. D <laughs> Couldn't turn right away. Okay, so what I'm gonna want to do is... Since we're on Route 37... What I'm probably gonna want to do is... Well, I could... There's a, a fork in the road, as you see right here, but I think I might as well go ahead and just go this way real quick. And we got these uh, twins here, so... Okay, I got an Eaterino up front. Awesome. Anna and I are in this together! <laughs> together! Alright, so we got twins. Anne and Anne. <laughs> and they're gonna send out a Jigglypuff. So, perfect for Nidorino. Give it a good double kick. Yep, so it ended up being a double kick to take down, take down this Jigglypuff. Some more good experience right there. And now they're going to send out a Clefairy. I'll keep Nidorino out. Because I'd like to go and get Nidorino up to level 22. Uh, I think it's going to be a double kick. Let's see. Yep, took it down. More easy experience. Mm, a little too strong. Yes, I am. Okay, so now I'm gonna want to put Zubat up front. Because there's one more trainer that we can fight here. Um, it took you long enough. Pokemon can't do a thing if they are asleep. I'll show you how scary that is. <laughs> Not unless I cause problems for you first, bud. Psychic Greg. He's got a drowsy. <laughs> so, the thing about him talking about putting Pokemon to sleep, that's a dead giveaway for him to send out a drowsy. Let's confuse it. So he can have a better chance of getting through this drowsy. Now, trying to fight this drowsy with Zubat can be a bit risky on my part, because I'm hoping it doesn't do anything. Okay, awesome. 
So far, so good. I was hoping it's not going to be able to land a psychic attack on me. Uh, I'm crossing my fingers. Okay, it's still hurting itself. Very good. If we can do it one more time, I have a good chance. Or it can flinch. Or if it flinches. Okay, confused. Come on, please, please, please. Yes! That was awesome! Perfect! Phew! That's... And that was a critical hit! <laughs> I hate it when it happens to be a critical hit in the very last blow, when it... Whenever an opponent's Pokémon is down at that health. I hate that! I lost. That's pretty sad. <laughs> nice try for you trying to put my Pokémon to sleep. And that's actually a hidden item. Right here is an Aether. So, we got another nice little Aether. Oh, of course we run into a wild Pokémon. Ooh, and we have a Growlithe. Growlithe. I would catch a Growlithe. I mean, they're, they're cool. Okay, so this is where that uh, fork on the other side of the fork comes to. These three trees. <laughs> three trees. And they are... Uh, oh, but the pack is already full? Seriously? Wow. Well, I need to get rid of some items then. I didn't, I didn't realize that my pack would already be that full. And here we have a Pidgey. As a matter of fact, I think I may as well go ahead and catch it, because... Because uh, for a while, we may have to actually use a Pidgey for another uh, move to get around the environment. But of course, uh, you know, later on, I'll have one of my main Pokémon to be able to utilize. Oh, boy! Critical hit. That's close enough. <laughs> Uh, I'll be able to have one of my main Pokemon to be able to get around the environment. Alright. So this just to have a little minor purpose. Ah, oh, man! I can't believe I didn't even get that Pidgey on the first try. I can't believe that. Come on. Let's get this Pidgey. Yeah, I can't believe I'm already having to deal with a bit of a tough time trying to catch a- There we go! <laughs> well, never mind. So, we got the one foot four pound Pidgey. It rapidly flaps its wings in the grass, stirring up a dust cloud that drives insect prey out into the open. So, Pidgey is going to serve as a, uh, like, uh, like I said, one of those other Pokemon that will help us get around the environment. And here we are in Ecruteak City. There's a couple stuff that we can do here in Ecruteak City, but first, let's take a trip to the Pokemon Center. And who's this? Hi, I'm Bill. And who are you? Hmm, Chris, huh? You've come at the right time. I just finished adjustments on my time capsule. You know that Pokemon can be traded, right? My time capsule was developed to enable trades with the past. But you can't send anything that didn't exist in the past. If you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown. So you have to remove anything that wasn't around in the past. Put simply, no sending new moves or new Pokemon in the time capsule. Or new items. Don't you worry. I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow, time capsules will be running at all Pokemon centers. I have to hurry on back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye bye Alright, so this is where we can first uh, meet Bill. And he has to go right back to Goldenrod City. We'll pay vi Bill a visit a little later. But there's still a couple stuff that we can do here in Nicroteak City. And with the uh, time capsule being available, you can uh, trade Pokemon that were from, like, say, Red, Blue, and Yellow. Like, you could trade the three starter Pokemons from Red, Blue, and Yellow onto uh, Gold, Silver, and Crystal, of course. Okay, so next up will be to this house over here. If we talk to this fellow... Ah, you're on an adventure with your Pokemon? Well, what's an adventure without treasure hunting? Am I right or am I right? <laughs> of course. Good. You understand the true spirit of adventure. I like that. Take this with you. And we get the item finder. So, this is of course the item finder is where we can find all the hidden items around the, all the regions. There are many items lying about that aren't obvious. 
Use item finder to check if there is an item on the ground near you. It doesn't show the exact spot, so you have to look yourself. Oh yeah, I heard there are items in Ecrotique's Burn Tower. So, Burn Tower is another location that we can go into. Uh, but let me take a trick back to the Pokemon Center so I can just so I can uh, deposit some items. So we have to go to my PC in order to deposit items. Let's see, which ones am I not going to really use? Probably not going to use the battle items, so I'll just go ahead and put them away. Let's see here, Iceberry, Pink Bow, Sunstone. Probably won't use a Sunstone for a while. And not the Hyper Potion, so I'll go ahead and put that away. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, maybe this Awakening. I'll put the Awakening, I'll put the Repel away. Let's see, we got more Paralyzed Heals than Paralyzed Cure Berries, so I'll go ahead and put the Paralyzed Cure Berries away. We got more Poison Cure Berries than Antidotes, so I'll go ahead and put the Antidotes away. And I think everything looks good here. So, of course, we can have more items to stock on. Okay, our next location will be over here in... Let's go into this building. 